you need to love what you do in order to do great work, right? So I'm turning one of my passions into a new video series, and that is the driving series. I love cars and I love driving around. What do you think about sticking a camera on top of my car so that I can bring you along with me to check out different neighborhoods in the city? If you like the idea, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Comment below if there are any particular neighborhoods that you want to see. Today I'm going to drive this classic from 1997. Yes, it is 24 years old with an air-cooled engine. Listen. Don't you like this classic clicking sound? All right, let's go. We are now in the Young and Ellington area and we are driving south on Young Street towards downtown. You can see the signature Yi e Condo Towers over there, with direct access to the subway and the almost completed Eglinton LLT. There are lots of construction going on because Yang and Eglinton will soon be a big transit hub with the subway connecting the north and south and the LLT connecting the east and the west. The next big intersection we are going to hit is Yang and St. Clair. It is a prestigious neighborhood right between Rosedale and Forest Hill. See that white billboard in front of us? That will be the future home of the landmark condo One Delisle. We have Loblaws and St. Clair subway station right across the street. See that super tall building in front? That's the one floor condo. So we are almost downtown. One Delisle is still an available option if you are looking to invest in an ultra luxurious condo. Studios start at $600,000 and one bedroom unit start at mid $900,000. This is a pretty stylish area. We are now entering the Yorkville area. That's the Four Seasons Hotel over there. This is Yorkville Avenue. One Yorkville. This one under construction is the 8 Cumberland. The little white building across the street is 
Mancus Adagio. This is another luxurious option that is available right now with studios starting at $700,000 and one bedroom unit starting at $800,000. The blow subway station is right there. So we are now at Yang and Bloor intersection. The architecture of one Bloor is indeed very iconic, isn't it? The construction across the street will be a new condo called The One. Because downtown is a lot busier, so you won't see any nice patio along Yang Street like we saw in the Yang and Sinclair area. Here is the Young and Wellesley. We talked about this intersection a lot earlier this year because 8 Wellesley was sold out in just 10 days. It is just around the corner across from 11 Wellesley. Then we have the two tea house tower that are taking occupancy at the moment. At the Young and College intersection, we have the YC and the Kama condos. These are the buildings where we are seeing significant rent recovery to almost the pre-pandemic level. This section of the Young streets down to the Eaton Center will see reduced car lanes and more pedestrian priority zones in the Young Tomorrow campaign because the city is anticipating a huge population growth and therefore need to find ways to solve the traffic problems in the downtown core. And other super tall condo in front. That's the Aura. You can see that the Rousen University is expanding from Java Street all the way here to the Yang Street. The construction here is supposed to be an 85-story condo tower called YSL. But because the developer Crestford is in financial trouble, we will have to see what is going to happen with this site. Definitely an excellent location. You can probably tell from the look of the street that we are approaching the busiest intersection, Yang and Dundas. Isn't it really nice to see that downtown is starting to come back to life again? So we have the Yang and Dundas Square on the left and Eaton Center on the right. And Eaton Center spans one whole block from Dundas to Queen Street. There's Massey Tower right across the Eaton Center. Ah, 
passing Queen Street. We are now entering the financial district. It is pretty quiet here because it is a Sunday. Let's come back here on a weekday after the office towers reopen so you can witness the difference. I was planning to go all the way down to the waterfront, but it looks like the road is blocked here. So we will make a right here and end our trip at Union Station. Today, we have essentially traveled along Yang Subway Line from Atlanta all the way down to Union Station. Comment below and let me know if you like this kind of driving tours. Let me know if there are particular neighborhoods that you want to see. Subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any future tours.